Hello, my name is Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of the latest features we've released for behaviors in ScriptRunner for Jira Cloud. The feature we're going to be talking about in this video is support for the issue view screen. For those of you who are currently using behaviors or are familiar with the state of behaviors in cloud, you'll know that currently your behaviors can only be applied to the create screen. So that is this screen here. We are happy to now announce that we can support the issue view screen also, which means that you can start to create behaviors that apply to your issue throughout its life cycle, as opposed to just when it's being created. We're going to show you how this works. However, there are a couple of things to mention before we go into the details of how this is going to look and feel. First is, as you may remember with the create screen, when Atlassian released support for a new view, the number of fields that are supported within that view are limited. That's because they want to get the support for the view out with the number of fields before then expanding the fields that are supported by that view. So if we go to the UI modifications API, we can see that there are four system fields that are going to be supported on release, i.e. when this video is being recorded, for issue view. That is priority, summary, assignee, and description. As with the create screen, the idea here is that Atlassian will now be able to expand its support for different fields, both system and custom fields. And as those get added to the UI modification API, they will also be added to the behaviors feature. So watch this space for more fields to become available. Another thing to mention is that the issue view is quite specific in which screen we are able to support. We are able to support this view here. So when you go directly to the issue and you view the issue on a single page. An example of a view screen that we can't currently support is when it pops up in a modal when you select a ticket from a board. So this screen here is different than this screen here, and we are not going to be able to support this screen on release. However, as with everything else with the UI modification API, that is always going to be expanded and we're always going to be including new things. And so hopefully this screen will be um, supported relatively soon. So how is this going to look and feel? So on your new screen, when you go to modify a script, you're going to notice a change in the top user interface. Previously, it will look like this, where you can select the events that are going to be executed on. Now you can select the events and also the views in which it's going to be executed. As for an example of how this is going to work, you can see here we've got a very simple script. All this script is doing is getting the priority value. And if it's set to medium, it assigns the ticket to me. If it's set to highest, it assigns it to someone else. A simple example to show you how this can work across multiple views now. So let's see this working. So when I click create up here, just to show you it working in the create screen, we're on webinar story, which is the mapping of the issue of the behavior. And when I set this to medium, the assignee is changed to myself. When it's set to highest, it's set to someone else. So we've already got this working and we know this works. Let's see it in the new view. So we have a previously existing issue that has no assignee. If I change the priority now from high to medium, we can see that the assignee is automatically changed to me. And also when I go to highest, is automatically changed again to someone else. So you can see here now you can start to create logic that is consistent with your business rules that will apply to an issue regardless of whether you're creating that issue or modifying that issue. One last thing to note is that at time of recording, we are hoping to be able to release support for the transition screen quite soon. This again gives you more power to ensure that your business rules are followed consistently throughout the life cycle of an issue. So keep an eye out on our documentation or our release notes for that. If you want to know anything else about behaviors, the best place to go is scriptrunnerhq.com. You can find everything scriptrunner there, blog posts, documentation. Definitely keep an eye on that web page for more information about behaviors and the releases as they come. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.